Hello everyone, welcome to Services Classes. So in this video again we will be discussing a question pertaining to the quantity aptitude section of the paper. So if you talk about the QA section in general, this year round the paper seems to be a little bit on the difficult side. There is a kind of question that has been asked this year or put forward, uh, put forth this year round seem to be a little bit more calculation intensive and also in turn were you know uh, more complex and time consuming as well in turn contributing to making the section and paper more difficult as compared to previous years so what we'll be doing in this particular video is that we'll be focusing ourselves on the question on the question from the paper itself and then subsequently we'll try and understand the approach involved so that whenever we come across questions such as this further down the line we are easily able to solve the same okay so having said all of that let us focus on the question at hand find the sum of all the natural numbers from 1 to 100 that are neither multiple or 2 or 5 okay so basically our range here is uh, 1 to 100 okay so now uh, we need uh, to find the uh, sum of all the numbers which are neither multiple of 2 nor 5 okay so first let me find uh, sum of numbers from 1 to 100 sum uh, 1 to 100 so that is uh, how we can do is that n by 2 that is 100 by 2 uh, plus 1 okay simple uh, AP first plus last term this would come to be 50 so that is uh, 50 101 so that would be 5050 okay now uh, let us do uh, let us try and find the sum of multiples of 2 from 1 to 100 that is sum will be uh, 2 200 okay so here uh, if we focus on this so that would be basically like 2 plus 4 plus dot 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 plus 900 uh, okay so in total uh, there are uh, 50 such even numbers between 1 to 100 and the common difference in this regards would be of 2 okay so common difference would be of 2 so therefore what we can actually do uh, in this regards is uh, say uh, let us use the AP formula uh, or formula being uh, n by 2 sum uh, twice a plus n minus 1 t okay we will use this particular formula so here uh, 50 by 2 twice a so 4 plus n minus 1 so 49 into d is 2 okay so this is 25 so 98 98 is 102 that would come out to be 5 0 okay so sum of all the factors are 2 we got now again what we need sum of all the multiples of 2 okay let me write differently sum factors of 2 and then we need uh, what we need is uh, multiple of 5 so sum 5k so if we talk about multiples of 5 so the numbers will be 5 uh, 10 15 20 plus uh, 100 okay so there will be uh, say 20 such terms so again using the same formula 20 by 2 twice a so into 2 10 plus n minus 1 so 20 minus 1 and common difference being 5 okay if we solve the same we have 10 into 10 plus 19 into 5 so 95 okay so this comes out to be 100 1050 okay now one more number we have to consider which are common in this regards okay so that is uh, we need to actually also take into consideration the lcm of 5 and 2 that is 10 so sum of multiples of 10k that is 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 this way so that will be like 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus dot 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 till uh, 100 we need to consider that would simply come out to be 550 because 1 to 10 sum comes out to be 55 so just multiply that by 10 now we need all the numbers which are neither multiple of 2 nor multiple of 5 so that means sum of one uh, sum of 1 to uh, I was going to write this properly okay. so therefore uh, how we can uh, represent the same in 
So therefore the required number would be sum of 1 to 100 minus sum of 2k minus sum of 5k plus sum of 10k. Okay, why we have considered this case, uh, why we uh, added the sum of 10k in this regards because here uh, in 5k, 2k, this multiples of 10 will be cancelled twice. Alright, so we just added their sum back. One of them since they have been cancelled out twice because 20, 10, 20 are both multiples of 5 and uh, 10. So they will be cancelled out in sum of 2k as well and sum of 5k as well. But we need them to be cancelled out only once. So we added another uh, sum of entire thing just one time. Okay, so I hope that is clear. So that would come out to be. 5050 minus uh, 2550 minus 1050 plus 550. Okay, so that would actually be 3000. Uh, this would be 2600, 2650. So this is a uh, 2000. Okay, so option A will be our answer. Okay, so I hope this question is clear to you. The approach involved was solving the same. So this was a very good question in fact. So the concepts involved were solving the same. All the things that we have to take into consideration to us solving are pretty unique. So I, uh, if you are having any difficulty with respect to our approach, we have used to us solving the same. I suggest you go through the entire video or multiple times and then subsequently try and solve this question so that whenever you come across this question, you are easily able to solve them. Okay. Solve this question on your own and try and keep this video as a reference in case you are, you are having any kind of trouble. So that should be enough to give you a gist regarding the approach involved. Okay. Now, having said that, if you are looking for a detailed solution of the entire paper, feel free to connect with us. For that, what you can do is go through the description section of the video where you will find a bunch of details like our website URL, our email addresses, our numbers for contacts to WhatsApp. So feel free to connect with us in any of the medium which are, is convenient to you. And we'll be more than happy to help you out in all these regards. Okay. So any doubt you might have with respect to your exam preparation, any guidance that you may need for any competitive examination preparation that may be, or if you have any doubts with respect to any subject, any concept, or any topic that you need an explanation upon and feel the requirement of our expertise, please do let us know in that as well. We'll be more than happy to help you out. No. Okay, so please do feel free to connect with us. Now, having said that, if you like the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that we can keep coming up with relevant content such as this further down the line. So, with all that said and done, I'll be signing out. Thank you so much.